Today I'm in the kitchen making perfectly pink strawberry sugar cookies. These no spread roll out cookies are soft and tender with a delicate strawberry flavor. I'm Rebecca and welcome to the kitchen. This is how I make strawberry sugar cookies. In the bowl of a stand mixer or in a large bowl with beaters, add one cup of softened butter and one and three quarters of a cup of white sugar. Cream these together until it's light and fluffy. Add in two eggs, one at a time, and beat after each addition. Mix in one third of a cup of strawberry jam or jelly, one teaspoon of vanilla extract. You can also add in a few drops of red food coloring to intensify the color, but this is optional. Sprinkle over top one teaspoon of baking powder and one teaspoon of salt. Mix everything together. Finally, add in four cups of all-purpose flour and mix until the dough just comes together. If you overmix the dough, it won't be as tender. Going to split the dough in two and form each into a disc with my hands. Wrap each in cling film and then chill for one hour. Dust the countertop lightly with flour and roll out the dough. I usually roll the dough out to about a half a centimeter thickness. Make sure to move and flip the dough over. Dust with more flour as needed to make sure the dough doesn't stick to the counter or the rolling pin. Fun part, use the cookie cutters to make shapes in the dough. Collect all the unused dough back together and then re-roll. Continue rolling and cutting until all of the dough is used up. Place the dough cutouts onto a lined baking sheet. Then I'm going to place it in the freezer for about 15 minutes. The dough should be firm and frozen before going into the oven. This step will ensure that the dough doesn't spread while it's baking. Bake the cookies in a preheated 350 degree Fahrenheit oven for 10 to 12 minutes or until the cookies are set and are just starting to lightly color around the edges. I'm going to let my cookies cool for about 10 minutes on the tray and then remove them to a wire rack to cool completely before decorating. Today I'm making these cookies for Valentine's Day, so I'm going to be using strawberry icing to make half of the cookies into sandwich cookies, and the other half I'm going to decorate with royal icing. To make sandwich cookies, I like to put the icing in a piping bag. It helps me have more control over the icing and it helps me put it on in an even layer. For some of the sandwich cookies, I cut some extra heart shapes out of the top cookie so you could see some of the icing showing through. You could also add some colorful sprinkles to this area if you wanted to add some extra decorations. If you wanted to skip the strawberry icing, classic vanilla buttercream is my favorite choice for sandwich cookies. And if you have any little helpers in the kitchen, form an assembly line and this process will be over in no time.